What is up? I'm Marcel and welcome back to The Modern Filmmaker. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over the fastest way to animate anything in DaVinci Resolve 17. So a lot of you already know that I fell in love with Resolve because of the color grading. Uh, but at this point, I find myself almost doing as much animating as grading. And while a lot of my complex animations end up in Fusion, I do use one tool in the Edit tab all the time to make some really awesome animations. So let's go ahead and dive into DaVinci Resolve and get this started. So lately, I've been working on these kind of abstract uh, graphical elements that you can download actually from the modernfilmmaker.com. And they're really simple slides and transitions and stuff that you can use to either accentuate uh, title or, or different animation. They're presets. You can come in here and change the colors um, and kind of customize them to your project and, and do what you need there. Um, but they're really cool and really fast. But where this actually started was with a slide and just a solid background. When I was just choosing um, how these would look and what the styles might be, what I did was actually come over here to generator and then solid color, uh, brought in a solid color into the edit tab. Uh, let's just change this to white so you guys can see it and then come up here to video transitions and then come down to slide. Now I can drag the slide out onto this first, uh, the beginning of this uh, solid color clip and then come into the slide properties. And let's say I want this to move from the right to the left. Um, so like I can change this from right to left. So it's gonna slide in sideways and the direction is it's coming in. And then I want the easing to uh, ease out. So I want it to kind of come to a slowdown when it slides in. So I'm gonna set that to ease out. And then from here, if I scrub through this, boom, we have a really kind of clean, simple slide in animation. Now, let's say I copied this by holding Alt, uh, click and hold on this, and then I'll drag it up to this new track. And now I've got two of them. So if I could actually keyframe this, uh, I'll hit over to the right on my arrow keys, one, two, three, four, and then start that there. And then I'm gonna change the color of this solid to gray. I'm like that, boom. And let's say I do that one more time. So let's hold Alt, click and hold, and then drag up, and then go to the beginning, and with the arrow key, one, two, three, four, and then I'll drag that over, and I'll make this one a little darker gray than the last one. Boom. Boom. That's a really cool, slick uh, type of animation that's really nice, because one thing I could do, like let's say I just want this to come in and come out. Now I could simply throw a slide out on each one of these, and let's say the slide out, I'll have to go to direction out. The direction would be, let's go right to left so it comes in, and then leaves the same way it came in. So I'll go right to left again, and with direction set to out, and the easing I'll set to in, because now I want it to slowly start in and then whip out. Uh, and then, so from here, I'll actually go to the end and then go back four frames, one, two, three, four, boom. And then come back to the slide. I'll add the slide at the end, go to right to left, and then come to the direction will be out because now we're leaving the frame. And then the easing would be uh, ease in. And then one more time, one, two, three, four, in here, one, two, three, four, drag this one back and then Let's say add that slide one more time. Slide from right to left, direction out, easing in. And now it not only comes in really cool, but then it should slide out really awesome as well. Really cool. And then I can kind of click outside of these just in the timeline and then drag and select all of these. And let's say grab the end and come all the way to where these pretty much connect. And then now we have a really cool kind of transition type thing. And you could easily make those faster by just shortening the amount of transition time. And now, boom. Like that's sweet. That's really, really sweet. Like that's. Uh, uh, like there's something just really nice about a nice fluid animation and that could transition you in and out of almost anything. Uh, another cool thing you can do too 
is drag these out. And I do this for a kid's show I'm working on and uh, all the time, constantly. And go over here to titles. And you could use a blank title, but one thing I've been using lately is the jitter because it's so uh, kind of kid friendly. Um, so let's grab this jitter here and then throw some color on it. Let's say we'll make it kind of this light blue and the jitter edge we can make pink, light pink, something like that. And then if I come over and again, one, two, three, four, or actually, you know what? Let's wait till all this slides in. So let's slide in and then we're gonna start it here. We're gonna go back to video transitions. I'm gonna come down to slide wherever you are. Drag, whoops, that's push. Drag this slide on here. I'll shorten it to kind of match those other animation speeds. And then I'm gonna have this one come from the bottom up. So those colors are gonna slide across and the words are gonna slide up, which is gonna be pretty sl slick. Uh, I like mechanical movements like that, that are like, you know, all that kind of stuff. I love that with animation. So anyway, this one's direction is in, uh, preset bottom up, and then the ease is going to be ease out. Because uh, again, when it gets to the end of that animation, we want it to slow down. So from here, let's see what we got. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't like the way this writes on though. I think this will be sweeter if it doesn't write on. Let's look at this one more time though. It's still cool. Like, and again, let's say I threw this slide at the back end of this one. Whoops. And then did the top down because it's going to slide up and then I want to kind of drop back down. That would kind of be cool. And then direction out easing in. This way it'll slowly ease into the animation. And let's take a look at this. Slides up. Don't like the way it writes on and animates out, which is cool. But again, I'd rather go with something just more static. So let's just go to titles, delete that title, go to titles, grab something more normal, just a, just a normal everyday title. And then we can go back to our slide, throw the slide on the beginning of this title, slide bottom up, uh, we're coming in and we're gonna ease out and make this pretty quick. So now, that's dope. Let's say we did. The modern filmmaker. Let's do a, a big bold like this. Line spacing. Let's do the tracking up a little bit to make it a little more modern and cool. And now we have kind of a slick animation. You know, it's not bad. It's not quite as customized and smooth as if you went into um, uh, Fusion and kind of set the keyframe to give you even more easing. But it's definitely, I mean, for most clients, I would say for more than half of your clients, if especially if you're, you know, in the beginner stages, are going to think this is a great animation and this is all they need and this is all they're paying for. They're not paying for you to go into Fusion and spend a whole day on their animations. It, you know, if they are, then feel free to go into Fusion and, and spend all your time in there. But uh, most likely, they're not paying you um, for some intricate animation. So if you just need something cool to title something or to transition something, the slide is a great effect. And like you guys saw me do in the beginning, I mean, I could slide me out, I could slide the thing up, I could slide the words in and do all kinds of cool um, animations just by pulling up more text tracks. You know, like I could delete these modern and let's say, come up here and make this modern really fat. And I wanna do the anchor at the bottom and it's gonna come up to like here. And what I'll do is shrink these video tracks so I can see what's going on. And now I'm gonna copy this, boom, slide it over just a few frames, boom. And then modern, come back so I can see it. And I'll actually make this really small the tracking type, give it more of a typography type effect. Um, let's see here. And then in the layout, I'll push this up. That's another thing I love about the slide is it's gonna slide into whatever position you just have it set to. So if you want to slide in the bottom, put it at the bottom and it'll just stop at the bottom. You know, I, it's so quick. The slide animation is so quick 
um, to make something that looks really professional. And let's say I copy one more, go over one, two, three, four, and then filmmaker, come back. Let's slide this down and track this in, make it even smaller to fit inside the modern. Slide that puppy up. And now too, you know, all these can have their own different colors. So I can have this one like a YouTube red, a little brighter than that. And like a YouTube red and then even make the V. Actually, I'll make the modern a little gray, a little dark gray. Maybe a little darker to stand out. Boom. Now, that's sick. And, you know, let's say you did this. And then we want to do that same thing we did on the end. So one, two, three, four, back. We want to make the slide out one, two, three, four, back, and put a slide at the end. Uh, let's go ahead and bottom top down because we want to come up and then slide back down. This one's going to go direction out, and the easing is also going to be the easing's in. And then we'll shorten that a little bit. I'm sorry if I'm going fast, but I'm trying to get y'all dope information uh, with a quickness. I don't have all day here. So I'm going to go to that one again, slide top down, direction out, and then because now we're coming out instead of sliding in, and then the easing is going to be in one more time. Shorten this puppy, shortened, top down, e direction out, easing in, whoops, easing in. And now you have these puppies sliding in. And one last thing I'm going to do is just reframe our words so they're a little more centered up. Boom, boom, and boom. Not perfect, but y'all get what's going on here. And now we have a nice little slide up and a nice little slide out when this feels like caching, of course. But that's smooth. That's just a simple, simple way to make something kind of cool. For yourself, for a client, for a friend, for your dog, I don't know. But if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, definitely make sure to leave them down below. And make sure to hit that like button if you guys like this video. That would really help the channel out. It shows mad support. And if you guys didn't like the video, maybe click the like button anyway. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you like videos on DaVinci Resolve. And as always, I'm Marcel, and it's been The Modern Filmmaker. I'll see y'all next time. Peace!